little bit different from my usual video recording style. We're going to be doing something a bit differently. Um, I'm going to explain to you a situation that just occurred to me a few days ago. I installed an Apple update, um, as one normally would, and I noticed it broke my iMovie um, video import function. So what would happen is I would try to import video from my video camera. In this case, I use a Sony Handycam um, What is this thing? Oh, a, a DCR SR68. Not that it really matters. And it would import the video just fine, but it would not import the audio track. So I did some Googling and I found really a lot of dead ends. A lot of Me Too um, posts on the Apple forums. Like, I have this problem and I have this camera. And Apple has not released a fix as of yet. But for those of us who actually make and earn a small income from their YouTube channels, not being able to import video and exporting a, uh, a viewable video with audio is kind of, well, bad. In my case, I wanted to make a video uh, two nights ago, and I was not able to because I could not import audio. And I tried my other camera, which is a Firewire camera, and... Um, think that one, I don't think that one worked either. So I struggled to find a fix and I found, like I said earlier, a lot of dead ends and, um, and typical Apple style. They're not really owning up to this little gaff, if you will. Sometimes updates break things. I mean, that's a, a cold, hard reality. Things might be working just fine, you install an update thinking you're solving a problem that you don't even know about yet or you think it'll just improve security or performance when in fact it breaks something unexpected. This was a major iMovie update that was released and I just got new mail. Um, and it's just it's really funny because I just ran an update to the wireless card driver in my media PC and it broke wireless. <laughs> Luckily, there's ways to fix what was done. And in this case, I just simply rolled back the driver to the previous version, and the wireless card instantly sprang back to life. Now, in this situation, Apple has given us a magnificent tool that allows us to roll things back in the blink of an eye. I'm not going to demonstrate what the symptom was. Basically, it goes like this. You import video, and there's no audio. Plenty of video, but not a single scratch of audio. What I did, and this was suggested in one of the forums, and it did work. It's not a permanent solution because the update still has to be fixed by Apple. They have to own up to the mistake and release a patch. But I'm going to go ahead and launch iMovie. And what you see here is where B Bishop PCM happens. I'm considering trying some other software, specifically Sony Vegas. I need to uh, stop being lazy and download a trial for the Macintosh. I think there is one released, and um, see how that works. But regardless, all I did was I rolled back iMovie to this version, 904. And I did that by going to Time Machine with my Time Machine drive plugged in. Now, if you own a Mac and you don't use Time Machine, here's a very good reason why you need to start doing so, because it is such a very easy to use, you don't even think about it, it just works kind of backup solution. Um, there are other um, programs out there that work just as well, I'm sure, maybe better, but... So I'm going to launch Time Machine, and... Oh, there we go. Hopefully you guys can still see this. And we're going to click on our Applications folder. And we now see every application installed in the local machine. If I look over here to the previous backups, I'm going to go to the one just before the update was installed. In this case, I think I went to uh, June 17th, or I don't remember when the backup or when the update came through. I think it was around the 16th. So we're going to click on the 16th. And we're going to locate 
iMovie, which is right there. And then we're going to click Restore. However, there's one thing we have to do first. What we have to do first is delete the existing instance of iMovie. So we want to exit iMovie, like so. And we're going to navigate to the Applications folder. And we're going to locate iMovie. And then we're going to delete it. Just drag it to the trash can, ignore all the warnings, and delete it. Once we do that, we can recover iMovie from a previous version, thus solving the problem. No plist files had to be deleted in this process. I just brought it back to the old version of iMovie, and I can now import video files without a problem. And they guess what? They include audio, too, just as they're supposed to. So I hope this has helped some of you um, who have not been able to find a solid fix. Now, if you do not have a functioning um, time machine backup, or you don't, um, for whatever reason, you exclude your applications folder from the backup, there is a solution, and that is to find your iWork, I'm sorry, your <laughs> iLife installation DVDs, DVD, and um, simply reinstall the application. Um, or if you have another Macintosh with a previous version of iMovie, you can drag it over from there as well. So, anyway, thanks for watching.